all right what is going on youtube a different little setting as you guys can see i'm in the kitchen today is tuesday november 27th i think something like that no 28th tuesday december november 28th i'm confused my hair is crazy i gotta fix that up but basically right over here we got some spaghetti cooking we're gonna eat some lunch it is currently 1 49 p.m and I just ordered the iPhone SE 64 gigabyte version in the starlight color. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I did purchase it right up here. Make sure to go follow me at TechRificitis on all my socials if you haven't already, because that's where you can stay most up to date with everything that I'm doing in my day to day life and in my tech journey. But without any further ado, we're gonna eat up, gonna take a little quick shower can do a video unboxing on the iPhone SE. It's supposed to be arriving in about 30 minutes or so, or 35 minutes. It's arriving at 226 and it is 149. So hopefully I could get my shower in before it arrives and then I uh, get my hair ready and all that because tonight we are going to be heading over to downtown and we are going to a Oilers game versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Now this game is going to be pretty interesting because it is a rivalry of the Western Conference of the Pacific Division. Vegas is at number one and Edmonton is at the bottom. They're the bottom seeded of the Pacific Division. So it's going to be really interesting. Vegas was in Calgary last night and they played a beautiful game. So I can't wait to see what Edmonton is going to be cooking, what the Oilers are going to do. Hopefully we we'll win, but if we don't, it's all good. We're just enjoying the game, we're gonna have some fun. So the game's at seven, I gotta leave home at around five and I still need to shower, eat, or eat, shower, um, get ready, get dressed, get my hair ready and all that, and film an unboxing video of the iPhone SC while I film a day in the life with the iPhone SE, which is actually this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Guys, so we just got our food, some spaghetti, some plantain. It looks bland, but let me reassure you, it's bussin'. Got my M2 MacBook Air, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. So I'll catch you guys later. Alright guys, so that was a little time lapse. Finished my food, it tasted good. Watched some YouTube videos. We're good, we're chilling. It is currently, I believe, let's see over here, 2.18 p.m., which means that the iPhone is arriving in about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna clean my dishes, wait for the iPhone to show up. And then once it shows up, we're gonna set that in my studio, take a shower, do the little unboxing video, and then head over to downtown. So I'll catch you guys later. Guys, check it out. The iPhone just arrived. Let's see what's inside the box. Right there. There you go. iPhone SE. Let's go, guys. I'm hyped. So we're just gonna do a little quick unboxing and then we're gonna go shower and get ready for the game because it is currently 2:40 p.m., which means that we gotta be heading out of the house very soon so let's go all right what is going on guys we are currently on our way to the arena to the game as you guys can see we have the iphone sc right over here peep the low drip got the air forces and all that so uh yeah we're just gonna meet up with dexter in edmonton and then we're gonna head over to downtown so i'll catch you guys later also we left the house with 94 percent currently the iphone is at 91 percent we are rocking 5g the iPhone SE 2022 does come with 5G, which is beautiful. I'm currently at three out of four bars. I did take out the SIM card from the 15 Pro, which we are filming on. I think most of the filming will be done on my 15 Pro. And then maybe a few shots once we get inside the arena will be shot on the iPhone SE. Now, the reason why I'm not shooting on my camera is because cameras are not allowed inside arenas, inside Roger's place inside scotia bank and all those other arenas so unfortunately we gotta go with the phone but thankfully phone nowadays especially the flagship iphone do have amazing 
video quality. So I'm currently shooting on 4K 60 and so does the iPhone SE have 4K 60. Currently at 90%, it just drained another percentage just by notifications coming in from social media. I do have my AirPods Pro Gen 2 and we are rocking music. It is currently, let's see over here, 3.57, I was gonna say four, but it is 3.57 p.m. Bus comes at 4.20 p.m. So I'm just walking about another 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna chill at the bus stop once I get there, head over to the city, meet up with Dexter. And then we're gonna head over towards downtown. Apparently he wants to grab food. So we're gonna see what's going on with that. But we are also trying to hit up the lounge inside Roger's place. So we're gonna feast up there. So uh, yeah, maybe I sound like I'm out of breath because I'm currently going up a hill. But man, I do love the iPhone SE and the starlight color, especially how portable and slim it is. It feels really good using it caseless and I'm not scared of dropping it like the 15 Pro. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna head over, try to get as many photos as we can because the drip is crazy and so is the sunlight. Anyways, I'll catch you guys when I get to a bus stop and I'm gonna update to you with how the iPhone SE is holding up. So I just got to the bus stop guys and the iPhone is currently at 85%. I'm rocking two out of four bars of 5G on the Bell 5G Plus network. Um, it is currently 4.09 p.m. which means that the bus is coming in 10 to 11 minutes. So we're just going to be waiting here until it pulls up. Um, something I am realizing is that the battery, as I mentioned, 85%, it is running out very quickly. Now obviously it is an iPhone SE, it does not have the 27 hours or 29 hours of battery life as the Pro Maxes of this year do have. It only has 15 hours of battery life, which is what Apple claims it to have. So I haven't been doing much other than listening to Spotify through my AirPods Pro Gen 2. I did also download X because I need to tweet and update you guys. If you guys aren't following me, make sure to go follow me. But overall, it is actually pretty interesting how the battery is draining quickly. I did download X or Twitter, I should say, because it is called Twitter. Elon Musk, come at me. But you know downloading twitter it went really good i downloaded it on 5g it took about 30 seconds which is really impressive which is what 5g is for now the thing i'm not too happy about is how much is draining battery like come on now i just downloaded an app i'm just listening to music and i'm barely texting anybody i'm just like checking a few messages just for the game to make sure that i'm meeting up with my friends and staying up to date and it's just draining quickly which is i don't know i don't know how i feel about it but obviously since it's a day in the life we are not going to be charging it if it dies we're just going to see how it holds up we're going to test it to the absolute maximum and see what is actually going on so if worse comes to worse we have the 15 pro that i'm filming on right now just in case we do need a phone for emergency purposes now the scary thing is that my sim card is in here so if it dies it dies i don't have a sim card in the 15 pro so you know the first time to worse we do have our charging bank but hopefully it doesn't fully die i mean it's already at 84 percent, so i don't know what's going on but yeah bus is coming in nine minutes so far auto exposure is beautiful on the 15 pro look at that so we're also going to be testing out the iphone se battery throughout the day throughout the evening as well as the camera so stay tuned guys i'll catch you once I get inside the bus. Alright, what's up YouTube? So we're currently on the bus. The battery's at 81%. Rocking Bell 5G. We have full bars as you guys can see. Sunset is looking beautiful. I was hoping to get a few portraits um, with you with the sunset in the back, but I do not have a photographer unfortunately. So hopefully the sunset is still out once we get to the city, but we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna meet up with Dexter and I'll catch you guys in about 20 minutes. Guys, we just got to the train station right here at Melwood Train Center. The battery is currently at 71% and we are about to meet up with Dexter rocking 5G+. Plus. I'll catch you guys later.
just got some food at Edo. We stopped at the Bonny Dude Shopping Center. Um, the phone is absolutely dying. It is currently at 60%. I'm rocking 5G. And yeah, as you guys can see, I had just bought um, my Edo food thanks to Apple Pay on the iPhone SC, which worked really good. Now, unfortunately, yeah, as I mentioned, the battery is going crazy, it is downgrading. I did go to TELUS, that's back there. I don't know if you guys can see the purple, but I did go to TELUS to get a little paper pin. That way I could eject my SIM card and put it back into my 15 Pro. I feel like I've had enough testing. It's not the greatest phone. Something I do really hate about it is the A15 Bionic chip. You can really tell the difference with the A17 Pro. And the other thing is just the price. I mean, for like $579, plus tax, plus the accessories, you could really get a better phone like the iPhone 12 on the used market for a better deal. But if you want to buy something straight from Apple and, you know, just spend your money, it's not necessarily a horrible budget phone. It's just not my favorite and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for the price. But uh, overall, I am having a fun experience with it. I am just taking out my SIM card that way I could use my 15 Pro because that's what I'm shooting most of my social media content with for Instagram and updating you guys. And just because I cannot stand the A15 chip inside of it, it's just acting way too slow for my liking. So uh, yeah, we're gonna switch that over, get our food. It's currently 5.31. The game starts in an hour and 29 minutes. So uh, once we get our food, we're probably gonna go in the train, eat up a little bit in the train, and then head over to um, the arena, Rogers Arena, or Rogers Place. Rogers Arena is in Vancouver. So I'll catch you guys later once we get our food. All right, so we just got inside the train, heading back to downtown. We're munching right now. I'm about to get my food too. So I'll catch you guys once we get into downtown. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. Catch you guys later. Guys, so we just got through the game. We got through our seats. Uh, everything in downtown went good. We scanned through. Let me just show you guys our seats. The players are going to come out shortly. We got a little sign over here. Hopefully we could get a puck or something. A stick, hopefully a glove. And uh, yeah, we're gonna chill up here. We also have some seats at the top of the arena in the lounge, so we're gonna go check those out as well. So uh, yeah, catch you guys later. It is also Fight for Cancer Month, so or Fight for Cancer game, I should say. So uh, it's purple theme. Um, shout out to that. It's a nice cause. We don't like cancer out here, so I'll check in with you guys later. So it is currently the second intermission of the game. It is currently 4-2 Oilers. McDavid scored, as you guys can see right over here. And uh, we had another goal, so 4-2, amazing game so far. iPhone SE is holding up. I am not recording a lot on it. I'm mostly recording on my iPhone 15 Pro. It is currently at 57%. I did take out the SIM card back at the Body Dude Center just because I want more versatility. But I'm going to try to get more pictures and videos of the iPhone SE in the third period. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. It's shootout time! It's shootout time!
right guys, so the game just wrapped up. Oilers won 5-4. It was an insane game. I tried to get as much clips as I could. The people sitting next to us weren't really too prone to filming, so I didn't film much, but um, the iPhone SC did hold up decently, you know. Did take a few videos on it. It is currently at 56%. Obviously, I wasn't using it like the 15 Pro. I'm currently charging the 15 Pro. Uh, the Uber's gonna be up here. And yeah, as you guys can see, my voice is completely done because I scream a lot. And yeah, I sound crazy. But we in downtown right now, and we're just waiting on our Uber. And yeah, iPhone 5, uh, iPhone SE is pretty nice. It does feel really good in the hands. It looks beautiful in the darkness. And um, overall, great phone. Obviously, I'm not using it for my SIM card or anything. So um, 5G is not working. And obviously, that means that it's not draining the battery as quickly. But I did use it on mobile hotspot. And everything I needed it to do did it pretty good. So I'll catch you guys when the Uber pulls up. And I'll see you guys at home. Have a good evening. Bye. Guys, we are back home. The iPhone is at 55%. It is currently 11.27 p.m. I'm gonna go shower, put this phone to charge, and edit this video and head to sleep. Hopefully I can post it within the next 12 hours. That way it's still trending and all that stuff. I'm tired, my voice is tired, my hair is looking kind of crazy but overall i had a really fun day with the iphone se not quite sure how this video turned out i hope it did turn out good if you guys did enjoy it make sure to smash that like button comment down below your thoughts share it around and subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already anyways i'll catch you guys in the next video